Good afternoon, everyone. It's great to be here. Talk a little bit about a topic that's pretty prevalent in this conference, which is how AI is going to transform the future of storytelling and marketing at large. I think we are at a unique moment right now where AI is causing a massive societal shift, all the way from its profound impact on every aspect of personal productivity and creativity to how enterprises work to societies at large. And while we have certainly have technology shift before that have been like PC or web or smartphone shift, this one is particularly a very unique and profound shift for three reasons. First, for the first time after many decades of us adapting to computers and speaking in their language, machines are starting to learn our language, our culture, our context. And so the no notion of storytelling is going to completely flip on its head when machines start understanding nuances of our culture, our language, how we engage with customers and market to them. Second, the scale of investment that's happening from hyperscalers and platform providers to foundation models, the rate of change that we are going to experience in our personal and professional lives is unlike anything we have seen over the last few decades. And then last but not the least is the notion of democratization. We have all used productivity tools in our professional lives, but the notion of using tools that are rich in multimodality, images, videos, soon 3D, that has been out of reach for most of us. That has been the purview of professionals. And I think with AI tools, it's going to completely change the level of access we all have to these tools. And so what that's going to do, when you think about bringing that into the enterprise, literally every single function inside the company, from sales, support, legal, finance, marketing, is going to completely change once these tools actually come in and the cost of content creation and personalization dramatically drops down. If you look at the last few decades, enterprise workflows and systems that we all use have been dominated by investments in cloud, data, analytics, insights. But with AI, you're going to see the focus shift very squarely to content creation and storytelling becoming a big part of every single role and every single knowledge worker's job. And this change where you go from just using machines as automation tools to actually telling your narrative, whether it's to your customers or to your employees, it's going to completely change, not just what we, each one of us, does in our daily jobs, but actually how meaningfully we can engage uh, with our customers. And at the heart of this transformation is actually the notion of future of marketing that will get completely rewired on four core pillars. First, how you do ideation. Uh, as marketers or as brand managers, how you tell your stories, or how as designers and creators, how you do upstream ideation is completely about to change once these tools make it easy to create a vast variety of ideation. Second, the notion of personalization at scale. That's been a holy grail for a long time. It's finally about to become real with the advent of these AI tools. Once you have personalization, the third one is notion of choreographed journeys or orchestration, and lastly, a notion of adaptive content loops that I'll talk about. So let's dig into each of these a little bit. When you think about ideation, today, the notion of doing ideation for storytelling in most of professional environments is an extremely siloed and extremely costly affair. Some marketers or product category owners will do a limited notion of storyboarding and ideation. Then there are silos where they'll hand it to designers. Then they will eventually create one or two sets of creatives. And then you are fundamentally limited in how rich you can actually be in exploring vast variety of ideation profiles for different audience segments of customers you have, different geographies, different markets you serve. And what Gen AI is about to do is for the first time bring the cost of trying out new ideas and creative storyboards and creative briefs to such a low level that the notion of trying not just tens or hundreds, but hundreds of thousands of ideation briefs using the power of these AI assistants where you can actually try out for every single audience segment you have or every product category you have or every market you serve, you can try out different ideas and different ideation notions. 
And once you have that, for example, some of the customers we are working with, a large CPG company now can actually do synthetic photography and launch their products in 90 to 100 different markets and test out how those products will perform before going through the physical expensive act of launching and running physical campaigns using AI and synthetic photography. They can actually run these campaigns now in a matter of days, what used to take months before. Now, the ability to ideate a lot is great, but once you can ideate, you have to actually think about how to personalize. I think the real unlock with generative AI is going to be the notion of being able to train these AI systems and models to uniquely understand your customers, your brand voice, your language, your customer segmentation profiles, your analytics data, behavioral data, and bring all of that in to train these AI systems to uniquely speak to your customers in very specialized voices. A lot of you have tried the first generation tools like ChatGPT, and they're great. Typing into a prompt box and generating some content is fine. But in many ways, these tools are so primitive that within a couple of years, we are going to look back, especially in context of enterprise workflows and marketing, where the same chat GPT system cannot be used to generate marketing campaigns that are highly tailored and personalized. If you are a global leading CPG company or a beverage company, you don't want to generate marketing campaigns and stories that sound and look exactly like your competitors. And so this notion of personalization is going to be one of the biggest unlocks that I think is going to surprise all of us when these AI tools go mainstream. And what this does is combined with rich explosion in ideation and scaling the content, the amount of content now you can create, and this is not just textual content, this is images, videos, soon 3D and immersive content, that now you have a different problem. How do I actually orchestrate all this content and make sense out of it? And so the chapter three of this story that we are about to see in the next two to three years is not just sitting there typing, nobody wants to be a prompt engineer. That gets very old very quickly. And so what you really want as a marketer or as a storyteller is can you describe your intent and your goal simply in the most highest creative kind of words and a marketing assistant or a creative assistant that understands your context, your intent, and essentially creates not just single discrete pieces of content, but entire journeys that are highly orchestrated, cross-channel, cross-geography, cross-audience segments. And so this change alone is going to surprise and completely change the world of agencies, how they content, do content creation, the world of performance marketing, the world of social media marketing, because you are no longer now beholden to doing extremely tedious and manual content creation, one content piece at a time, but rather you can actually have a marketing assistant where you describe your goal, and it will literally generate hundreds of thousands of different variations, stitch together multi-step journeys from email campaigns to web SEO campaigns to social media campaigns, and stitch them and orchestrate them. And so once you get to that point, the last stage in many ways in this journey is what I call adaptive content loops. Once you have these journeys, then the question becomes, is this a journey that I have to deploy once and just live with it? Or like an AI system, is this going to be a constantly li living and breathing and evolving organism that's actually going to learn as you have these stories out there, brand stories out there? So adaptive content loops is all about taking the measurement, analytics, performance data that you already have on first-party platforms, third-party platforms, and using that signal to bring it back and drive it into your content creation upstream. There's always this joke around, most marketers know some half of their marketing spend is right, they just don't know which half. And I think this, this adaptive content loop concept is going to actually once and for all create a completely closed loop system where you take your analytics, performance marketing, analytics data, and use that more upstream in your creative process. At Typeface, that's a company I started a couple of years ago with a mission and vision to reimagine these four pillars. Ideation, personalization at scale, 
orchestrating multimodal journeys and adaptive content loops. And we do that through two products. Uh, Typeface Hub, which is a multimodal content hub that lets you bring all your content and personalize it. And then Arc is a next generation, what we call AI first workflow. It's a marketing assistant that literally works with you hand in hand as design team, marketing team, storytellers, and create multi-channel journeys, all with simply expressing your intent. So let's take a look. This, in many ways, is just the beginning. It's our view on where the world of storytelling and multi-channel marketing is going to go. But I would be remiss before we end this session if I also didn't talk a little bit about some of the challenges and guardrails you need to focus on. While AI has a profound potential to completely change the creative process and storytelling process, we also have to be mindful of focusing on issues that are not yet fully solved with these AI systems. The first one, is while technology is going through a step function change, there is an organizational change management component where every organization that brings these tools in, the harder part is actually not technology and tools like typeface, but it's actually the reskilling and upskilling, rethinking your business process, how does your workflow between different agency partners, stakeholders work. I think that reskilling and upskilling is actually going to be something each of you, as you think about adopting AI tools, and as you walk the kind of the floor, there are thousands of tools being showcased. But it, frankly, it's the change management that's going to be the harder part uh, to adopt these tools. Second, you have to be careful not to get locked into highly proprietary closed systems. And so one of the biggest things we focus on is building these solutions so that they coexist on a very open platform and in a connected ecosystem. And then last but not the least is the notion of content safety, authenticity, brand governance, copyright and legal indemnification. There is a set of issues that are still being worked out, both at a government policy level, but within each company, you have to address and answer those guardrails. Until those happen, this actually will not be something that gets adopted at brand scale. And so, as I wrap this up, I think we are at an extremely unique moment where AI is going to completely reshape the fabric of enterprise through the lens of storytelling. And as machines start understanding our language, our words, our culture, they, they can partner with us and actually amplify human creativity, not replace it. I think there is a lot of genuine fear whether these will just completely take over jobs and creative process. I think done right, AI will take the human creativity and free us up to actually focus on creating the way we have always imagined. Thank you.